this. I wouldn't recommend it. That crazy. But that's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max Zero Portal Leads 3 video and today we have one of the craziest, if not the craziest video uh, that we've shown on this channel. The amount of damage that is going to be on display here is absolutely mind-blowing. Now, Ties That Bind got changed in the most recent patch. It now gets action skill damage scaling, but it did not lose its mayhem scaling. So it was a buff to Ties That Bind, which is crazy. Today we're going to be showing you guys just how insane we can make Ties That Bind and giving you guys build recommendations before we get into the video. If you guys do enjoy the video, uh, more than 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you hit that subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. I do appreciate it. And with that, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so before we get into all of the craziness that's about to happen, I have to give a big shout out to Prismatic and Dr. Strangelove, who did all of the math behind today's video. They're absolute geniuses. I uh, wouldn't know all of this without them, so big shout out. And today we're going to be showcasing something crazy. By the end of today's video, I will have shown how to get upwards of 800 billion damage on Amara. Uh, theoretical, obviously, because you would reach damage cap by then, but there's some absolutely crazy things going on here. So the first thing that you guys need to know is Ties That Bind is now scaling with action skill damage, but it did not lose its mayhem scaling. Now the mayhem scaling for Ties That Bind is around seven. So we're getting around times seven damage uh, on Ties That Bind just by being on mayhem 10. We are also getting scaling from Do Harm, which is going to give us our action skill damage and Awakening to give us rush stack effectiveness. Now with around 25 stacks of do harm and not taking into account anything just do harm rush stacks and ties that bind we're going to be doing with 25 around 3.87 times damage to the link target when i say a link target i mean we have an enemy who's phase grasped the link target is the damage that's being done to the linked enemy and they will always always uh with how ties that bind work be taking more damage now with 99 stacks of do harm, they're going to be taking around 10 times the damage. How do you get 99 stacks of do harm? The phase zerker class mod. The phase zerker class mod is going to be so, so strong and definitely my most recommended class mod to use right now because of how it works with rush stacks. The phase zerker comm is going to give us plus five rush stacks. And when you fake grasp, you can get up to 25 stacks, or sorry, 99 stacks of do harm. 99 stacks of do harm is a ton of action skill damage. And for today's video, we're going to be using all of our equations with 99 stacks of do harm. Just keep that in mind. Now, the 10 times damage through ties that bind doesn't take into account um, things like Laid Bear, which is going to give us a straight up multiplicative damage increase um, and things like uh, matching elements. For example, today we're going to be using Fire on Flesh, which is going to give us a 1.75 times multiplier. And that results in around 20 times the damage to link targets. So once we're shooting our weapon, we're going to be doing about 20 times. Just to give you uh, guys an idea. So right now I have a uh, beacon. I've got radiation weapon damage. I wish I had a fire one, but I don't. And the other weapon that we have is a 390 uh, radiation beacon. So to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about and what's going on, let's show this. So damage numbers are on. Let's get some enemies. Okay, so I did 129k damage on that shot to our enemy who was bound and that linked damage did 2 million. So already you can see that Ties That Bind is doing a crazy amount of more damage to our linked enemies. I don't know how many stacks of do harm I had there, um, but it's a crazy damage increase. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is the anointment 300 over 90. Now this directly 
impacts, ties that bind. I have made videos about this. If you guys have seen them, you know this. But 390 is going to give us a times 4 multiplier on all of that damage. So now we're going from about times 20 damage to link targets to around times 80, which is crazy. So we're going to be doing 80 times damage. And there's, there's other things that's not going to line up perfectly, but I'm just trying to give you guys a general consensus. So now I'm going to switch to the 391. See if we can get our phase grass back here. So now with one shot from the beacon, I'm doing 2 million damage to our regular enemy and 105 million damage to the linked targets. As you can see, crazy damage scaling, right? Absolutely crazy damage scaling. Um, I know it's not exactly uh, the numbers, but just trying to give you guys a general idea of the math versus things that are happening in game because uh, it's hard to line up everything exact. Now, that's absurd, right? <laughs> that is so, so much damage. And you guys, uh, if you want to be using something like this, the 390 anoint is going to be so, so good with ties that bind. 390 anoint doesn't work very well on weapons that have multiple projectiles. So things that shoot one projectile uh, per shot are going to be your best bet with this anointment. And with that, we are getting crazy, crazy damage. Now, when you take into account the gunshot, because before this was just the uh, damage that the Link was doing, when you take into account all of the damage bonuses that we're getting originally on the shot, because the shot is going to benefit from laid bare elemental damage, and then all of that is also going to be hitting the next enemy, it's around times 1,280 the damage to linked targets, which is really, really crazy. Um, and it's hard to do that without a base number. So one way that we can show off a base number and the damage scaling that we can get behind this is to use Revelation. Now, Revelation has Nova damage. It says it is a base uh, 3,081. Now, Revelation is so crazy. I've made a video on this because Revelation gets Mayhem action skill scaling, which is different than Ties That Bind scaling. Revelation is going to get times 31 damage uh, by being on Mayhem 10. So times 31 uh, damage of the Nova damage. And then on top of that, it double dips into the 390 anoint. It double dips into do harm. It double dips into pretty much everything. And when you have Revelation on and you have a weapon with 390, you are on average going to be hitting for 1.4 billion, which is just, I think, above damage cap. So, All right, so we're going to show off the Revelation damage now. I'm going to be trying to keep my two harm stacks at 99, uh, just so we can most accurately show. And I have the 390 um, anoint on my pistol. And let's grasp. So, as you can see, immediately um, no damage numbers popping up on our enemies. That is the indication of over damage cap. And we will always hit for over damage cap as long as we have 99 do harm stacks. That is going to push us over the 1.4 billion mark and allow us to consistently hit for over damage cap. Um, because Revelation is double dipping in so many different things, uh, it gets crazy, crazy, crazy damage potential. Um, sometimes more damage potential than most guns in this game, and that's why I can't stress enough how crazy powerful Revelation is. I will be putting out a build that takes uh, greatest use of all of these mechanics, but I just wanted to show this off for you guys. Once again, uh, every enemy is getting damage kept. Now, where this gets even crazier is, so we're hitting for like 1.4 billion, at least, um, on these enemies. Now, this is a remnant orb. Remnant orbs have uncapped overkill scaling. Um, that means that any overkill damage that I'm going to be doing is transferred into this orb. Now, the remnant orbs are able to hit for what estimated 
over 800 billion because Remnant gets all of that scaling again. So hitting for 1.4 billion, these enemies probably have a few million health. So we're going to take all of that damage that's overkill. It then gets multiplied by 7. Um, Remnant gets the same Mayhem scaling on Mayhem 10 that ties the bind gets. So we get we have millions and millions, billions of overkill getting multiplied by 7. That is then going to take into account 390 gets applied to it. So it's going to get 390 scaling times 4. It gets the do harm and rush stack effectiveness. This is scaled by do harm. And it is also scaled by arms deal uh, or any splash. So I've got 20 splash here. I've got splash on my class mod and I got splash on my artifact. On top of all of this, we're getting all that splash damage. It's going to also get multiplied by the 1.75 um, multiplier for matching elements, not counting Tempest. Um, and when you put all of this together, when you have these billions of damage, multiplying by 7, multiplying by 10, multiplying by 1.75, um, multiplying by 4, you reach such absurd, uh, absurd amount of damage that it'll never ever show up in this game. I wish it would. Um, but now you guys know what Amara is truly, truly capable of in this game. Um, if this Remnant Orb, if there was anything left alive for this Remnant Orb to hit, it would insta-wipe out any single thing in this game that doesn't have uh, a health gate. It is such crazy damage, and I really hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, took a lot of time and effort to make, and so if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. I will have a build out with exactly how I'm going to abuse this mechanic to the most to make one of the highest damaging, highest damage dealing Amara builds that we've ever seen. I hope you guys liked the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace!